Hi guys and welcome to 10 free of Out and About and we're in Portsmouth and by we I mean me and this fella standing right here Woo! and we're walking through Commercial Road at the moment Tell you what, today's been so much fun it's only just starting. Yeah. Oh. And yeah, I've, so just re I've just remembered something. Okay. Um, it's been two years. There have been 149 episodes. You know what that means. It's the 150th episode. Now, you've also noticed a few things too. It's, uh, It's my number four session of the Swataz. Be a bit referential. Mm. And also filmed here for my latest episode of the podcast show too. Another reference. And we're in the mouth of ports. We are. Just let's hope we don't get drunk. <laughs> we don't plan on going and getting drunk. We can't afford it. That'd be, the, that'd be the best part of it. Um, but I've just um, not that I've um, I passed them all for, for ages. I did not have sexual affairs with that woman. Uh, Clean cards, isn't it? I've just um, I've also just realised um, that I've just been trying to play chess with a computer player and I end up in checkmate. So I couldn't take his queen because I'd been checked with his bishop and I couldn't castle because I'd been checked with his queen. Okay, we're going to have to call a truce here. Tell the big amazing deals out. And by a truce. I mean, it's time to get ready to stop. Okay guys, so here we are for the last part of our Portsmouth tour in Victoria Park. And location scouting for the next film. So we're on one of the paths to play equipment here. As we now lead in to this man right here. Hmm. La -dee -da -dee -da. This is this is brilliant. Oh. Now the only thing is gonna cross my legs on me. I can. Smart. So, so that's what that's what all the nets are about. Ooh. Yeah. Some of them must be filmed on them. Oh. Yeah, well we can't film over there yet, just the kids over there. I know that. Um Right, now my turn to be seen on one of these plate pieces of play equipment. Which, which piece though? You can sit back to back with me. I haven't got any valuables in my bag. I'm gonna be 
I'm on. So here we are having a bit of a, a leg break, as it were. Right, I'm gonna get on again. It's now time for a new cameraman to take over. Here we are. Now, this is a this is a great area. You said of it, Portsmouth. sir. It's a shame I didn't come here for my my filming of episode nine too. Or did I mention it in the in my in my spatters? Well, it's because you weren't filming around these areas. No. You were filming the railway station and the railway station only. Well, I did film out of the location. And the camera on the side. I did film. I did. Um, I did do the. Um, I did do some surrounding areas. Here we are. Well, what, what's the time on there so far? How much time? Three minutes, 26. We'll do a few more minutes. Uh, I'm going to drive to another car. And I'll think I'll follow. Stop. As you can now see, Darren's having a rest in the hammock. These ropes should be lot these these ropes should be strong enough to hold my weight. Particularly when they're reinforced by that wee bit of metal. Yes, indeed. This is lovely. It's not doing my back any good though, it's making it itch something chronic. This is lovely. This, um, this must act like some sort of pillow. <laughs> you could do a bringing a pillow to this area. Yeah, I, I didn't even know we were going to come here. Oh, I wanted to film here. Location scouting, isn't it? Yeah. This is lovely. Absolutely lovely. So, now I'm that relaxed, I don't think I can get back up again. Right, I guess we better cut the camera. Do you want to film and come down? Yeah. I'm already at the bottom filming. Okay. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> I wasn't good enough for both four That's of them. Uh, has it broken? No. So there you have it guys. Darren coming down a park slide for the first time in what? how many years? <laughs> You're not gonna catch me coming down that thing. Oh, I've got those wood supports were gonna snap under my weight. I guess if I that, if I was going to do that, I should have given you my phone. Yeah. So here we are. Let's have a look at some of the birds. Now that we can film. Just Did have you to know get out close. I saw, I saw back of a peacock's bum. Ooh. They they put the wings and turn around and. So we are now with our birds. I see they agree with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Alter. <laughs> good birds, good birds. Not as interesting as Rascal though. I think some of them are. I would have thought all of them were. Whatever you do, don't take the rest of the top of the city because so you can kill the birds from the shop. And I know this how? Because I went to a bird sanctuary in... Um, I went to a bird sanctuary in Birmingham. Ah. And it said, do not make any too loud noises because it can shock the birds and it can kill them. It's got from shock. So we are now coming away from this area. But we're still going round. We are. But I'm not filming the cage anymore, I'm filming us. Oh. <laughs> so. Well, the diamond dove. It's a diamond dove. And we have a Java sparrow. It's a shame it's not a Jack sparrow. True. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the Caribbean river. Yeah. Well, does this sparrow know a lot about computer languages? I am. Uh, it must do. Look, it's a Java sparrow. It must be. <laughs> and we have a diamond dove. Better not break it, it's too precious. Yeah. The only um, way you can break one of those is hit it with a hammer. <laughs> but that, then, then again, that's the problem with killing. Oh look, I didn't know they had Mrs. Finch in the cage. <laughs> oh. And an Indian silver bill. Yeah. And a red bill, Chris Weaver. <laughs> this is um, just simply awesome. <laughs> And we're now pack back on us because we're coming back out into the open park. We are. Which is the best, it is, um, it. it's, got, it's got to be a good part. This has got to be one of the best parts of Portsmouth. It's, it's oh, definitely. Shame I didn't film it for the Spataz because that would have been brilliant. In order to get enough time to film down there before you go to uni, you'd have to get here for 10 to 7. That's absolutely true. Ah. The park would be very empty then, and quiet. Now, anyone fancy making a wish from the old fountain of youth? The spell was taken at the capture of the North West Fort Taku, June the 17th, 1900, and brought home by Come pleasant weather and gentle rain, the Empire happy at peace again. HMS Orlando. I see it likes America very well, very much. No, I, never, I never knew Orlando Bloom was around for this long. Gosh, it'd make them 114. <laughs> Either that or they love going to America. Yeah. If Florida was around in 1899. Could have well been. Um, Another bit of information to pick up. Vice of Myra was a floor of Tyre, uh, Lieutenant Philip Munro. Wow. This is amazing you know, the amount of, um, the amount of um, history that hides behind Portsmouth. It is. And. I think we've got almost um, about the right amount of footage to stop at. So it's time to say one other thing. Thanks for joining us in Portsmouth today guys. And it's time for us to go now. So it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from 
Ultimate Darren stuff. Until next time you see us together on film doing an episode. I'll be back in episode 10 4 or 151 in the overall terms. Where I'll be taking you around Lee Park. Until then, toodle pip. Thank <laughs> you.